up guys? For today's episode, we are riding Seely Lake. It's been snowing all week and this is the first sunny day after a big storm. So I'm pretty pumped to get out on the fresh and um, hit it hard right after this reset. For today's group, we got my dad over here and Liam, a buddy from Missoula. And then Luke, who's filming this video. Did you get on five six six? Yes. Oh. <laughs> we had to change channels for the Canadians last week. Oh. Good thing we did a radio check. Yeah. Show up your colors, show up your colors, and see what you got. Super pumped. I've been doing almost all of my riding with clients this season and just really pushing the business side. And today we're just out here ripping. So I love riding with clients and teaching clinics, but it also feels really good just to rally. There's Luke. <laughs> into the zone i'm gonna ride this stuff behind me these pillows and cliffs back here and we're i don't know almost waist deep that i might be a little generous generous thigh deep and this spot right here never gets as much snow as that right back there so it's gonna be deep there's not a lot of traction in it it's like super light fluffy snow um so that might be kind of interesting to ride I'm used to a little more traction after a big storm. My dad's kind of hard to film because he just like goes off on his own to the top of the mountain. Hopefully I get some clips of him. He's a really good rider and a lot of fun to ride with.
Looked like it had coverage, but it's just rocks. Yeah. Kind of looks like he's sliding into a bunch of trees. Doesn't look like he has an out. That was not redemption. <laughs> I took the easy way up. Or Luke and Liam tried to take the hard way and you just pulled the smarter line. Well, I was just stuck twice, so <laughs> that sometimes makes for smarter lines. <laughs> oh! Somehow Liam got through those trees. I just saw his back end down there. Yeah. Oh, Luke just cussed. So I assume he's stuck down there. Oh, help him, help me. That was a hop over. Hey, you ready to go buy a boost yet? No, nah, this is just mint. Love it. Little 850 is getting worked. Working for the lines today. Woo. My 146 boost is getting worked too. Deepest day of the year. <laughs> I don't think any of us remember how to ride deep snow. Except my dad, because he's a fair weather rider and only rides deep snow. You could tell he was going for the hop over right there, but just didn't get enough traction with that 850. I just ran after uh, dad's sled because he lost it on his re-entry and it stopped before I got to it so I didn't actually do anything helpful but I tried. It looked good. <laughs> you effort. Yeah. Yeah, lots of effort. I didn't think you'd work that hard to save a skidoo. <laughs> what happened? I didn't want to land bad, didn't want to get stuck, so let go. <laughs> Well, pretty low consequence. Yeah. Good thing it stopped here and not the next one down. Yeah. Looks I'm... like you're going for an aired out re-entry. Not on purpose.
think he's getting the ski lift he wants. He's just kind of spinning out every time he tries to do a wheelie. <laughs> Sick. Nice. Luke's getting unstuck right now, and I'm hiking out to these cliff ledges looking for good angles to film stuff. I love filming stuff with a down angle off a cliff. I just think it's such a cool perspective. downhill hopovers I've done today but I feel like it's been a lot. How's the filming job today? Pretty good. I like this more than getting doubled around last time when my sled was broke. <laughs> Staying a little warmer. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for a line. I think I'm gonna go out on this little ledge and just do a donut and then wheelie out of it. Takes some skill to get through these benches and pillows. Not super chill. Like this looks fine looking at it. Like it's not bad to side hill through, but then it's like, oh, here's a 150 foot cliff right here. <laughs> super high consequence, not a zone you can lose a sled in. <laughs> How's the day going? Going pretty good. Getting a workout, that's for sure. How many stucks do you have today? Only one requiring the shovel. <laughs> that's the only one I'm counting. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs>
Well, my dad and Liam went out, so it's just Luke and I. We're gonna do another maybe hour or so of tree riding and then we'll head out too. I have a intermediate clinic um, starting tomorrow. So all the guys are coming in this afternoon and I don't wanna be out late riding. Plus I've almost burned a full tank of gas already. The 146 chews the gas up just cause it, the track's spinning so much in this um, deeper stuff. How are you doing on fuel? A lot better than you are. I've been filming all day. I still got half a tank left. Good, that means we won't get stranded. So I'm about to climb through these trees, side hill up on a cliff ledge, do a side panel drop off the cliff ledge, and then I'll do something fancy after I land that side panel drop, maybe a bow tie or hop over, and then cut back through the trees. Should be pretty gnarly, like definitely a step above everything else I've done today. momentum than that. wasn't as clean as I wanted. I kind of spun out on the ice when I landed, but you know, no damage to the sled, landed everything. Just felt like I was fighting the sled a little more than I wanted. Um, but you know, all in all successful line. This is one of my favorites that I've done um, over the years. Did it for the first time in 2018. Um, and then I do it about once a year. Uh, so pretty fun to knock it out and um, I'll probably do it again next year and try to get a different angle of it. I'm on the wrong cliff. I need to be over there. trying to get lined up for that double panel drop right over there got funneled off the wrong cliff and did this like double drop but I went too far on the first one so my nose dropped and then it hit this log here and I went over the bars I'm not sure that's gonna look very crazy on GoPro but kind of felt like I was in a wash machine because I went down like 25 feet down there after going over the bars I had a lot of forward momentum. First stuck of the day, and that was a rowdy one. I think my A-arms are good, and I think it's just my ski. That's the stump I hit. No wonder I got stopped in my tracks and went over the bars. No damage other than this banana ski. Pretty happy with that. Skis are relatively cheap compared to a-arms and bulkheads. I was wrong, it bent the upper A-arm. I think it took the impact at the bottom. Well, th the impact went into the ski and then into the bottom of the spindle and that caused the top to tip forward from the bottom, you know, shoving it that way, kind of pivoting on that lower A-arm, bending my upper A-arm into my shock. You can see here, there's not proper clearance. So, ski and an upper A-arm, still, not too upset about that because that was a hard hit into a log and like I said, that could have been a bulkhead or something major. 
So I'm still pretty happy. Just did a little test run and it, it handles pretty bad, which is no surprise. Um, and I'm out of fuel. So I think it's time to call it a day and start heading out. I know I said my lower A arm was good. It's not. I ripped this thing through the eye here. So that explains why it was handling so bad. I was like, man, this thing is handling so bad for just a bent upper A arm and a bent ski. Turns out that's why. But at least I didn't damage my shock. My shock's still good. I found hose clamps to be so handy on the mountain. They work so good for splinting broken A-arms or like splinting an A-arm um, to a spindle if you break a ball joint. I've never used one for this before, but I think this will work pretty good. It'll keep it from pulling out of um, the A-arm eye here once I bolt it all back together and should make it a lot easier to ride this sled out. Highly recommend carrying these because they come in handy for so many different things. That should make it a little easier to ride out. 